met uh, via Facebook, and um, I messaged her right away and told her she was very pretty because she was and she still is. And <laughs> um, that was my pickup line. So it wasn't too amazing, but it was good for the time. She had a boyfriend. I didn't mess any of that up, but um, I constantly checked um, to see if they were still together. And um, uh, one day they ended up, it ended up they weren't, and I decided that I wanted to um, kind of try it, go for it. Um, our first date, she came to my baseball game, and after that we went to Toby's. Then we went home and had a romantic evening of Jurassic Park and brownie making. I remember, am I crying? <laughs> I remember at um, dinner, he just kept talking about how much he loved his family. And that was super awesome for me because his family was super important to me too. His family's my family, and my family is his family. I just remember feeling like that night was, you know, like I'd been, um, I'd been waiting for that for a long time. And so I took her to an overlook in Duluth, and we brought some uh, champagne, and we were exchanging gifts, and she thought that she had gotten me this great gift, which it was a great gift. She got me a hammock, um, which was great. I loved it. Um, but then I uh, asked her to close her eyes. Um, she uh, opened her eyes and I was down on one knee and you know I didn't want to be without her for, um, for any amount of time. Um, you know I wanted to, for her to be the one to um, be with me for the rest of my life. I wanted to be with her no matter what. I'm excited to start a family together, to uh, do the next chapters of life together. When I look at her, I just see everything that, you know, I'm, I'm looking for in a wife and in a person and a, in a friend. I just, I just couldn't spend a second without her.